Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So with every Thursday comes an exciting new patch, and today we have something that is quite interesting. It's a new block, of course. You're probably wondering what it actually does. Well, it is a merge block. I'll just show you it right here. And it basically has the ability to connect two ships together and have them as if they were one. So from that cockpit, I can use all the functions on these individual tools. Now this lets you do a whole variety of different things and I'll show you some of the things you can do. So first of all, you can have one ship with multiple roles. So I no longer have to have just a drilling ship, a grinding ship or a welding ship, or maybe have to have both drills and grinders on the same ship, but then me wasting the time of building the other ones because I'm only using it as a grinding ship. So we'll take this thing off, press P, release the landing gears, and we'll hover on over to our connectors. Well, our mergers, you could say. So there's two ways of actually telling they're on. The first thing we need to do is make sure they're on. So this one's not on because the actual lighting's black, but that one is on because the light's white. So to turn these on, it's as simple as accessing one of their menus. So let's just get into this reactor, access the control panel, and make sure the merge block is on. But first of all, we're just going to access the grinders. So we're going to go over here, and this is easy. So it's just like plug and play. It's re it's really exciting to see something like this, because as you get close, the magnets in the little items start to work, and you hook up like that. And then all you do is you disengage the landing gears, and you are one ship. Very nice, very nice indeed. And we've got instant control over them grinders, or anything that's actually on the front of that little item. So we'll just grind this. You can see how it's working really well and say you were doing another job you just return it to the pad you could lock it down in place like so and then disengage so we'll lock it down go back onto the menu and we find our merge block so merge block this one turn us off and we should be able to disconnect really easily and now we just move on to equip another component now this is going to really help in some of our survival i can, I can tell now, we're going to reactivate the merge block, turn it back on, and we're going to hook ourselves up to the welders. So, there we go. Rehooked, disengage, and we can actually weld this panel back up. Pretty simple, pretty damn effective. So, let's move on to show you some of the more interesting ways you can use these. Now, this is going to have a lot of combat applications. So you can basically change up the whole of your fighter. You can decide what weapons you want on it, what equipment, and so on. So here we've got two rocket pods, and we've also got this I'll show you in a minute. So first of all, we need to attach our rocket pods. Let's make sure all our um, mergers are on, merge blocks on. We need to connect up each one of these first. But the problem is going to be is to make sure that they're actually on. So on here, it looks like these merging blocks are actually off. So we're going to go into here access the panel and control panel make sure the mergers are on so that one's on and then we're going to go over here and turn this one on be careful not to nudge them all right so they're both on and ready to connect up so this would be great just imagine you can have a large fighter you could have any sort of equipment that you want you could say right we're going to go for a recon you just put a recon sort of dish like a, maybe just a radar equipped one for recon or maybe you could have the rocket variants and so on. Oh, I just I can't wait to see what sort of things that these people are going to do with it. So we're going to connect up to this rocket pod. Just line it up and we're hooked. And now we need to connect up to the other one. Got this one in line up. There we go. And we're hooked. I love the little magnification bit as well. It just it brings it towards you. So the fight is ready to go. We're armed with the rockets, and then we can just discard these. Say we need to get out of a fight really fast. We could just be flying over in this direction, turn our inertia dampers off, and then we just disable our merge blocks. So we need to dump that, and we need to dump that, for instance. And then we just need to shake these off, like so. And we get out of there, and then we can actually fly a little bit more flexible. So re-enable our inertia dampers, and we'll head back over. Now, if you've seen the Star Wars movie, you'll know what a similar idea to this. This is like a booster. So say your fighter needs to get into combat, but it might be quite far away out the sector. And you can hook yourself up to something like this. So if we move into position and hook ourselves up, there we go. We've instantly got a massive power boost. So you can just see how fast that's actually made our ship. So we can accelerate, 
and move towards this object. Just look how fast we can actually move now with this. And then once we've arrived at the battle area, for instance, we could just turn it off. So I'll make sure my inertia dampeners are on. My ship's struggling to stop due to the actual power of these engines. So we'll disable that. And what we'll do is we'll just disable that block. And that's de-hooked away and we can actually fly off and continue with our job. So these can also be used to rescue ships as well. So say you've got a ship that's, um, for instance, may have snapped in half. What you can do is actually connect these two items up. So come on over here like so. You can connect two ships together. <laughs> it looks pretty funky that, but it, it does work. And then say for instance we need these ships to actually be permanently together. We just simply connect up the blocks between them. And then we would remove these items here so we could just grind away grind away these little items here we'll just grind them away to an off state so we're going to grind away the little merge blocks there's one there's two so if you've had a situation where your ship snapped in half you can quickly get it back going and keep them connected so there they are working very nicely you can also see that you can actually now color in your cockpit so you can colour in whatever cockpit colour you want. I, I personally still think the grey looks pretty good because if you come inside and you actually have a look at the inside of the cockpit, it, it looks alright in other colours I guess, but I mean the grey's always just quite a nice simple back in for your cockpit as well. Anyway, let's move on to some more advanced features. One of the more advanced features is the ability to turn a station into a ship. Now this has some quite interesting consequences, especially if you decide to turn a station that's connected into an asteroid. But first of all, I'll show you the basics of it. So we're going to build a new station. So we've got a new station right here and it, it can't be moved. We, we all know you can't move a station at all. So we'll get ourselves into a cockpit and we'll put an, a, one of them and a large thruster on the back. So for instance, like this. Now we're gonna place that like that. And the hard, the, we can we can try extremely hard to try to get this thing to move, but it's simple, the engine's not gonna start up. So let's turn this into a ship. Now that sounds a little bit complicated, but with the press of this button, it's all gonna go crazy. So you can see the engine's powered up and it is now a ship. Not a very good ship, but is that simple now what I actually want to see is what happens if you turn something like this into a ship I've got a feeling it's gonna end quite badly but we'll check it out anyway so we're gonna place our cockpit down we'll get inside we're gonna press K we're gonna go to info convert to ship now fingers crossed that's something good's gonna happen out of this now I'm, I'm experiencing a lot of lag here as you can see I've already closed the console menu, but it doesn't seem that it's picked up. I reckon this is going to be a giant spike, and it's going to go, oh shit, I'm a ship. <laughs> so hopefully this menu shuts down, unless it's completely lagged itself out. And it seems to have done. Unless we are a ship now. Let's just check one more time. We are officially... A ship. Now, to, pr to prove we're a ship, what we're gonna have to do is get out of this thing and add a hell of a lot of gyroscopes. Now, what we should be able to do is turn the whole of this thing. <gasps> oh my god. I'm moving a whole factory. It didn't seem to do too much damage. That was the was initial part of lag, but now we have turned our factory into a ship. So we can have this massive thing floating around, scaring the hell out of people. And we can even move it location to location. And even just use it as a mobile base. But it's quite interesting. Anyway, let's move on to something else. Now, something quite interesting that also came out with this patch is a little bit of a change to the netcode that's affected quite a lot of different things and individual items and how they work in multiplayer. Now, for instance, the rotors are a lot more stable. So this footage here of the Bane Blade was taken one or two days ago before the patch and you can just see how it's absolutely going crazy. Now this is what happened when Sage got in it today. It was perfect, it drove absolutely smoothly, it was actually at such a level where I could get in the turret and enjoy it as well. 
Now to further test it, we decided to load up the APC map that we played the other day and test out what the turrets were like when someone was driving and we found out they were absolutely spotless. They turned and moved quite flawlessly, except one thing we did notice when you did accelerate, they had a little bit of loss of control. So then we would take it to the next level. We tried it on ships. Now if this works, we're going to be able to do a whole variety of different things with turrets or style battles. So we tried it and initially we had a few errors, a few little situations where it, it was a bit buggy. Then we realized the solution. The solution was to turn the inertia dampeners off and hold a certain speed. And basically what you can do while this is happening is you can move the turret extremely freely, really well and pick individual targets. So what we're actually doing now is we've got an airlock here and obviously there's no oxygen or anything like that in Space Engineers just yet, but we can actually seal two ships together so we can have an easy transfer of items maybe between them, or we can just even go between the crew. So we're just about connected up here. There we go, a little bit of a magnetic sort of shake, but it all looks quite good. And now we've joined with the other ship, we can open up the doors and we can run on through. Perfect for docking. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.